It was Bram's day of exploring Tasman Shuko. He was visiting Tala when he met someone who used to live here. My relative's friend, who knew me George Wood, held you like a car, said the woman. I'm moving to another house today. Could I give you a hand? asked Bram. Of course you can. A removal truck arrived to take the stuff from the first house and the packing began. Bram was to help with taking what can be fitted in his back seat. Once things all packed in the truck, what do you think happened? The removal man thought Brom was part of the woman stuff and thought he would be removed. Brom felt himself lifted in the truck. Oh my wheels and wipers, exclaimed Brom. Now what? The woman wondered where Brum went. Hmm. He must have driven off, she thought. Off he went. We George Wood 
who saw that the woman was leaving Tala saw what had happened and decided to follow. That woman's been a god who fell moving to another place. But she didn't ask if Brum was her car. I better tell them. To the seaside. The man unpacked the woman's stuff but had some surprise to see Bum put in the truck. Hey, what's Bum doing in your truck? said the woman. He's not mine. We didn't know he wasn't yours, said the man. Then we had we Georgia, who kept steaming up. I saw that man. He can't steal her. He has a hoop of his hoop. Of course I do, said Bram. It's the second time I've been taken in this truck by mistake. Can you take me back to your railway? I took the rooks are huh? all about them. Troop Brum was put on the flat bed and was taken back to where he met the woman from the first place. Thanks for the lift. I were to cool. Goodbye, the bum. Bye bye. And off went Brum, driving all the way to the seaside where he lived.